Hi, my name is Cameron Mitchell, and this is my Calculus and Vectors CCT. In question 15, the question will be centered around this formula. This formula is similar to the instruments used to determine the altitude of an aircraft above sea level. In question 15a, we are asked to determine the value of k. The problem is, is that we have k in the exponent. In order to solve question 15a, we're going to have to recall properties of our logarithm from advanced functions grade 12. In grade 12 advanced functions, we knew this to be true. In calculus, all we've done is add Euler's constant which is still true. However, in this question, we're not given this. We're given this with a coefficient in front of Euler's constant. However, we don't need to worry about that right now. We're just trying to solve and get x, which will be our k value, down so we can solve for k. And how we're going to do this is take the ln. Ln is the inverse of log. And by doing this, we can eliminate our Euler's constant and bring down k, x and k. And therefore, this occurs, allowing us to solve for k. In 15b, we are trying to prove that the value that we determined in 15a, the value of k, is correct. And we are given the pressure and we're given the altitude. Therefore, because we're given enough information, we simply have to substitute in these values into the formula to determine if our value of k from question 15 is correct. In 15c, we are being asked to determine the first derivative of the barometric pressure formula. In 15c, we have to remember that the function is an, an exponential function. So, for example, here's, here's something very similar to our function that we have in question 15c. In this question, we have to remember the derivatives of a power and how to take the derivative of a function like this. So, here's our function. In order to take a derivative, we have to remember that you keep this untouched you keep this the same. However, you take the derivative of f at x. And then you bring to the front like so. So, we're going to apply that, that rule, to this example. Keep this all the same. The derivative of this is 2 as 2x to 1. Take the derivative of that. That equals 2. And this is because we multiplied 1 by 2. And then we subtract 1 minus 1 of the power. That equals 0. Therefore, x does not exist. It's 0. And that's how we got 2. And then, proper form, this be, we multiply this 2 by 6, and that is how you take the derivative of an exponential function. Next, in 15d, we're going to be asked to determine the rate of change of pressure with respect to the altitude of 1500 meters. 
Now by this point, we'll, be ha we'll have all our givens, so all we'll have to do is simply substitute in 1500 meters for altitude, and therefore we can solve the rate of change of pressure with respect to height. Now we're going to begin solving question 15, starting off with question 15a. First, we've written down our givens, and we also have our formula. Now we can go ahead and sub in these givens for their respective values. Here we have the coefficient. We want to get this coefficient over to the other side so we can isolate for k. We do that by dividing, as seen right there. Bring it over to the other side. Now, this looks very f familiar to something that I showed you earlier on in this video. equals that. We know now that this is the exact same. So we apply this rule and this gets rid of Euler's constant for us and brings down k as seen here. Now we can go ahead divide negative a thousand by this side and this side to bring it over and we have now isolated for k. By isolating for k, we have thus, therefore, solved for k. We then conclude this question with a therefore statement. Therefore, the value of k, which is a constant, is 5.79 times 10 to the negative 5. In question 15b, we're simply being asked to prove that the value of k that we determined in 15a gets us a pressure of 90.2 kilopascals at a height of 2,000 meters. So simply, we're just substituting in values for their variables and getting an answer. So here is the given in our question. Here's our value of K that we determined. And we're being asked to prove the pressure of 90.2 kilopascals. Like I said, we simply sub in our values, as seen there. And now we put these numbers into our calculator and we get an answer of 90.22 kilopascals, roughly 90.2 kilopascals. And therefore, to finish off this question, therefore the value of K correctly determined a pressure of 90.2 kilopascals for an altitude of 2,000 meters. In question 15C, we're going to be taking the derivative of the original formula. Now to do this we, we're going to have to recall what I taught earlier on in this video and that is taking the derivative of an exponential function. And to refresh here is what it would look like. Sorry. So the derivative, you remain this, the, you keep the function, the original function, and you take the derivative of f at x in the power, and that's what we've done here, taking the first derivative, and here we have our first derivative formula. Now the, the derivative formula will allow us to find the rate of change at any point on a graph, and here's a little sketch approximation of this graph and that's what the derivative allows us to find the rate of change at any point. 15d is very similar to that of 15b where we're given our, our values and all we have to do is sub in these values into an equation. This time our equation is to find the rate of change and that is our de first derivative found in 15c. So we simply sub in our values and that is just 1500 meters in for h. That's all we have to sub in. And we find a, a rate of change of negative 5.38 times 10 to the negative 3 kilopascals. But we're going to switch that into pascals per meter. And that's going to be 5.4 pascals per meter. Therefore, the rate of change of pressure with respect to height at an altitude of 1500 meters is negative 5.4 kilopascals uh, per meter. Now, 
with this we can draw an illustration of what is going on here. We now know that our our uh, graph is going to be going like this giving us negative rates of change down so it's always going to be decreasing as the so the higher you get higher meters decrease in pressure and that's a conclusion we can draw from this question Calculus has many applications in the real world. As mentioned in this question, aircraft instruments use similar formula calculations to understand where they are in the air above sea level. Also, pilots while fly flying must be aware of the pressure changes at certain temperatures at certain altitudes to keep passengers aboard safe. Also, taking derivatives of functions and graphs can be applied and are applied in the financial world, where employers are looking at when slopes change and certain trends in the graph, all connected to calculus and taking derivatives. So, what is calculus? Calculus is defined of, as a branch of mathematics that looks at finding derivatives of functions and the properties of these derivatives. In this question, we, looked, we took the derivative of a logarithmic function in order to find the rate of the change. And here's an example. Rate of change gives us the slope at any point. So this is called a derivative, getting the slope at any point in a function. And to find the derivative, we had to use properties of a logarithm to solve. And this is how this question fits in the scope of calculus.